Hey, hi, I'm Bob Repke, uh, back again talking to Dale Welter. We're, uh, we've been involved in a few of these state tournaments over the years. I think we go back to 88. Well, you go back playing until, when did you start playing? 1960. 1960. You are yeah. an old fellow. <laughs> but <laughs> well, this is on cable, Bob. I know, I know. Kind of reminds so, me of the olden days of Coach's round table. Yeah, well, yeah. It, uh, Hawk Talk. Yeah, yeah exactly. That. Yeah, it was fun. It was high, rated highly, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. So um, <laughs> you played from 1960 to when? I, I should check the exact year. I, it's like 1984, maybe. So before the 87 championship. Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I do remember they lobbied me hard. To uh, <laughs> I, I got confused. Maybe Dale, it's time to retire. Yeah, maybe, maybe that was yeah. the lobbying. They yeah. thought me retiring made him a favorite, and they won the state championship. Well, you won it in '71, though. We did. Yeah, yeah. 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 You have great memories of that uh, team. Oh yeah, that yeah. Reunion. It's, yeah, it was uh, Stroman, you know, and it's, it's just seeing f those guys, and you know, like Mike Lano was a, like a rookie, and right. uh, Jimmy Burkhart, you know. Yeah. It's fun seeing those guys that at the time. You know, they were a part of the team, right? But you know, they were rookies and didn't play much. And right. I wanted to play more, but Ted Nicolai wouldn't put them in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure. But it was fun seeing all those guys oh, come back here. Yeah, and guys you haven't seen in a while. Yeah. And boy, you had some great names, great players on that team. And Zilka didn't come out. John Zilka was a pitcher, a fireballer for, yeah. for them back then, right? Oh, he was. Uh, yeah, we. You know, Bob Melky and Arlt yeah. and. Uh, you know, it was pretty cool. They couldn't find uh, a Zilka, and then he tracked him down somewhere up in Brainerd. And yeah. uh, the big Z was uh, oh. obviously very good. And, well, yeah. you tried to catch him one night, and uh, I'm lucky I'm not a <laughs> tenor. Oh yeah, man, yeah. that was something. He, he could bring it. Yeah, the uh, so do you have highlight. I mean, amateur baseball is such a big part of the community, isn't it? I oh, mean, you know, I'm not yeah. sure. Everybody understands what a big role it's played. It's been here for, the Cubs have been in place for 93 years. Yeah, and I always feel the ballpark's a huge part of that. Yeah. You know, and uh, actually you, I remember Ted, you know, uh, always if we don't protect it, Dale, let's yeah. get it out of there, you know. But I know you were adamant, and we were, we got to do something. And obviously uh, when they protected it there about five, six years ago, that just changed everything here. Yeah. You know, it enclosed it, and I mean, those are great seats actually out there. Right. You know, so. Right. Yeah, but the ballpark be, is. Yeah. They, this setup that we're using this year, I don't you think it's the best ever? Oh, without a doubt, it's the best ever. And you know what you mentioned? I always think, you know, um, we're growing a little bit here mm -hmm. in Chesk. I don't know if you noticed that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But this still, the location to me gives us that small yeah. town feel right. you know we it's all tucked in the residential yeah, area exactly you don't find that as much with newer yeah, ballparks yeah, yeah, so. yeah so it's really it's a cool setting and so you'd like to figure out ways to introduce this to new people coming down. how do we get new people coming down i mean you can't find more affordable entertainment yeah you know i agree once they come here you know i always kind of say even if you don't like baseball it's not your favorite you like coming here, just yeah. seeing the atmosphere and it's comfortable and yeah. uh, right. quiet. Actually, I see these rare swans. I'm sitting with uh, Brent uh, from Jordan there, and he said they're rare swans. You know, they're coming at the Chaska Lake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think yeah. maybe they're geese, but yeah, geese. it's pretty cool yeah. how they're coming in tonight. Yeah. So, you know, we should we should mention the dugout club. I oh mean, sure, you know, yeah. Because this is going to go out in cable and. One of the things what we try to do is, is build interest, is invite people to join the dugout yeah, club. Yeah. And for like a $40, you can get two free tickets to every game. I don't know how many home games are there, 20-some? Yeah. And uh, two free tickets, five bags of popcorn and five beverages on each ticket yeah. and a free T-shirt. Yeah. So it's a heck of a deal. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, neighborhoods, you know, it'll be in the Herald. Uh, I think you just got to, you know, and that leadoff party's a big yeah, deal. I yeah. mean, uh, now I assume it'll stay here at the ballpark. You know, I, I don't know. But just if they come to the leadoff party, they join the dugout club, uh, they'll just keep coming. You know, right. they'll, uh, you know, and the Sunday night games are just awesome. 
six o'clock, you know, right. uh, kind of a dead time, you know. They um, and our hamburgers are great. Sunday yeah, night eating yeah. Hamburgers six uh, o'clock, they're the best. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's just a perfect time. Yeah. yeah so and it's a great venue. Yeah. It's a great place to yeah. watch a game. Yeah, you know, night games like this are just amazing. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I just wanted to spend some time to talk about the Cubs, talk about yeah. the tournament. Of all the tournaments, I think, uh, I don't know, we, we, the partnership with youth baseball makes a lot of sense, too. Yeah. Because then Chaska baseball overall wins. I, I agree with that. I mean, uh, uh, youth baseball, if it's a win for them, it's a win for the Cubs. And it right. gets so many kids and parents involved. Yeah. You know, if they're happy, it's fabulous. Right. So, and they've done a great job. Yeah. They're organized, and yeah. man, they've done really Yeah, really David well. Verdugo, he's leading that. Uh, and Kate Brandt. Yeah, the president. yeah. Yeah. And all those volunteers. Yeah. Oh, man. I sure hope. Yeah, I agree. I sure hope they think it's fabulous when they keep doing it. Hopefully continue next summer, yeah. right? Is that? Well, I yeah. think, you know, we've got to keep talking about, you know, how do we work together? Yeah. You know, how do we yeah. kind of become maybe one organization working together. So Good. That, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be that. wonderful. Right. And right. all my role now as a consultant evaluator, it's a tough one, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. somebody has to take it. Yeah, yeah. But you still yeah. are active sharing your consulting opinions. Well, that's that my job. That doesn't stop. Yeah, right. I can't even help out there now. Yeah. I feel bad, you know. How many people do you have on your uh, your distribution list for your emails? Are you up to 500 or well, the or something, or I've got to learn how I keep punching those in. See, once a cross on that deal there, that's one group. Okay. Then the next group, there's three groupings. Oh, so. okay. Yeah. All, right. All right. Well, very good. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Rep. Okay. You bet.